There's a common notion out there that those who live with a minimalistic mindset actually make sacrifices and compromises on their quality of life. Quite the contrary, because these same people strongly believe that less is in fact more. Today, we're going to give you our top tips for living a minimalist lifestyle. Tip 1. Focus on one room at a time. The most difficult element you'll face when trying to adopt this lifestyle of reducing your home is deciding where to begin. One thing is fairly certain, however. Trying to handle an entire house at once is an incredibly overwhelming task, which is why you should focus on tackling it one room at a time. Why, you may be wondering. Well, because we tend to get very overwhelmed when we look at the entire task all at once. So, it's better to break it up into smaller achievable goals. You want to spend the majority of your time and energy on the easiest room first, and then use that as inspiration for the others as you work your way through the rest of your home. This is the most important rule to set yourself up to work productively towards getting that minimalist home you've always wanted. Tip 2. Limit your decorations. It's natural to want to fully adorn your home with various beautiful items you found on sale, or simply spotted at your local home goods store, but if you want to commit to a minimalist home. We recommend limiting your decorations to those that have unique worth or purpose for you as a person. The real issue is that over time, individuals start to acquire decorations that have no particular importance and tend to not know what to do with them. This results in the home paying the price, because these decorations find themselves in places they were never meant to be in in the first place. As a result, we recommend people to own fewer decorations, keeping just the most meaningful to them, such as family portraits, rare artifacts, and heirlooms that have been passed down for generations. Basically just the bare minimum of items which can better tell your life story or interests to your family and friends. Tip 3. Tidy up regularly. It goes without saying that minimalist homes are synonymous with a neat and tidy appearance. If they don't have that, they're losing the whole point in the first place. It's one thing to successfully change your home into a minimalist space, but it's quite another altogether to keep it that way for the long haul. Because your home is a living environment, it's natural that things will start to get dirty. That's why, according to us and minimalist pros, it's critical to develop healthy clean practices. It's really all about tidying the areas that you do have and knowing that there are definitely going to be some spaces that require weekly, if not daily, attention. But luckily, not every place in your home is going to require that kind of high maintenance, with some areas only needing a look at on a seasonal basis. Tip 4. Resist temptation. You're only human, so you're definitely going to be tempted to indulge yourself in some needless purchases. And there's some good reasons for why you'll feel that way too. In an age of continual and pervasive advertising, it's especially difficult to buy less items, which is why we recommend avoiding adverts as much as possible. Whether that means unsubscribing from emails, watching less television, or tossing away junk mail. Yes, we're quite aware of what we're asking you to do, considering ads are everywhere and considered impossible to avoid these days. If you wanted to truly take things to the extreme, this could be done through a rejection of consumerism in favor of focusing on the things that are truly meaningful to you. To adopt this mindset, you're going to have to start thinking for yourself. But what does that even mean? Well, you'd have to think about what you genuinely like versus what consumerism or advertising has caused you to like, would be our suggestion. What do you like? What makes you feel at ease and just stick to that? Tip 5. Do one thing you love. The best part about minimalism is that it frees up money, time, and energy for your most important interests. We believe the greatest value in life is spent pursuing things that bring true happiness, joy, significance, and fulfillment. Luckily, minimalism allows you to experience your life the way you've always wanted to. If you still can't understand the appeal, then try imagining yourself doing more of that every day from now on. And you'll get a sense of why people are still drawn to the minimalist lifestyle in the first place. That's because this lifestyle isn't just about leading a life that's boring and disconnected from reality like many would have you believe. Tease about rejecting society's notion of reality and choosing to live a focused, purposeful life on your own terms. It's a truly empowering way of living when you think about it. 
Tip 6. Digitize more. What better way of getting rid of the clutter than turning the clutter itself digital? Consider going digital with your collection of books or movies, perhaps to give an example. If you're a major reader or movie watcher, this can help you save plenty of room in your home while also ensuring that you can always find what you need right when you need it. Instead of going to the store to pick up your next read, you could have it easily downloaded to your phone in just a few clicks. Alternatively, you could also consider visiting your local library if you enjoy physically feeling the book pages as you turn them and begin to miss doing that. It definitely helps that you can get a wide range of books for free on the internet as well. When it comes to movies, you don't need to worry about cluttering your space with CDs since everything is carefully saved in your drives and can be pulled up at any time depending on your mood. Tip 7. Reuse. Luckily, this kind of lifestyle is very environmentally friendly as well. That's because you're cutting down on things you don't need, reducing all the clutter, and finding ways to reuse things whenever you can. Consider what things can be reused when you begin to simplify your home. This involves taking a good hard look around. It could include swapping out your throwaway water bottles for reusable glass ones, which could be a simple step. That one kills two birds with one stone, because you've effectively reduced plastic waste and also saved yourself money in the process. Alternatively, you can carry your reusable takeaway coffee cups with you whenever you go to a cafe. Not only could you save money by bringing your own cup too, but you'll also be reducing the consumption of single-use items this way. Tip 8. How to focus. Once you've narrowed down options and finally decided on a single space to work on, a good strategy is to begin with the obvious cluttered areas first. This would include spaces such as shelves, furniture, and items on the floor before moving on to the more hidden areas such as arranging your drawers, cabinets, and closet space. Based on professionals' opinion, this will allow you to be able to see your progress as you go, which may be beneficial when you're feeling overwhelmed by the number of things you've to go through. It goes without saying, but having great focus is a crucial step to successfully declutter and maintain your environment. Tip 9. Audit your life. Take the time to evaluate your existing spending patterns and then revisit them on a regular basis. Next, you should make sure that you always eliminate items that take up space or situations that keep draining your energy completely. You may find that as you get more at ease with the process, that you want to let go of items that you once thought you couldn't live without. For example, if you keep reaching for the same ingredients every time you cook, then your cluttered kitchen may be wasting precious time you need when you're cooking. So essentially you'd have to get rid of the items you aren't using to free up space in the kitchen and get your cooking back on track. Tip 10. Finding your purpose. One of the most significant aspects of minimalist living is this. If you're considering starting to live more simply in your house, think about why you're doing it, whether it's to save more money, spend more time with family, or even retire early and enjoy your retirement years. People often ignore the financial reasons behind living as a minimalist and consider it to be a trend meant for the upper or upper middle class of society. Truthfully, it's those who could use a financial helpline that this lifestyle will benefit the most. The reasons to live in true minimalist fashion are honestly endless. This is especially significant because minimalist living is ultimately about living a more focused and purposeful life. In our view, this lifestyle's objective isn't just to own less like how many wrongfully perceive it to be. It's to live a more meaningful life than the one we're living at this time. That's a wrap for this video. What's one tip you feel should be included in the list? Are you a minimalist yourself? Let us know in the comments below. Make sure to give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel for more videos like this. See you in the next one.